Hey there! In this video, we'll figure out how to display invoices in pop-up window on the click of a button in a report. Before we jump into the process, let's see what we're going to achieve in this video. This is a sample order management app. All the order information are accessed from the All Orders report. On the click of this custom button, an invoice pops up with all the necessary order details. Now, let's see how to perform this configuration step by step. There are a few prerequisites that we need. Create an invoice. Duplicate the report and set the invoice as the default template. Let's start by stating the obvious. We need an invoice. This is a sample invoice created using record templates in Zoho Creator. Check out our earlier video on record template to learn more about creating custom layouts. The link is shared in the description box. Next, we need to duplicate the all orders report. Set the invoice template as its detail view and hide the report from the end user. Let's see how it's done. Go to the editor, select all orders report properties and click duplicate. Give a name. We want all records to be duplicated, so let the criteria be all records. Now click duplicate. Then go to the detail view of the duplicated report and set the invoice we have as the custom view layout. In real time, end users would want to print the invoice. To achieve that, access print and PDF section in the report properties and set invoice as the default layout. Let's also hide this report as we need this only to show the invoice in the pop-up window. Our prerequisites are ready. Now let's see how to display invoices on click of a button. Here are the steps that we're going to do one by one. First, let's create a page. Go to editor, choose page and select blank. Give a name and create. Let's create a page variable to store the record ID of each order. This value will later be passed as query parameter to the page. Click on the page variables and script icon on the top right corner. All the page variables will be listed here. Click add new. Give a name and choose the data type as text. Click add. Next, we need to embed the invoice on the page with the help of HTML snippet. Navigate to snippets and drag and drop HTML snippets. This is the sample code to embed the invoice. Iframe tags are used to embed another document within the page. SRC indicates the source or the URL of the image, in our case, the invoice. app.zohocreator.com is the base URL. You need to change the domain based on your location. Zoho.app URI is a system variable used in Zoho Creator to specify the admin username and application link name. Record summary refers to all the details added in a record. Order invoice is the report link name of the duplicate report we created earlier. We choose this report since we've set our invoice as the detail view layout of this report. Input.recID refers to the record ID of the selected order. Since it's a dynamic value, it needs to be enclosed as shown on the screen. Specify the dimensions of the frame as per your convenience. Here, both height and width are set as 1000. Click Save. Let's enable the print and PDF options as well. Go to Page Properties and enable both. Now the page is ready. The final step is to create a button and pass the query parameter to the page. On the Quick View Actions tab of the All Orders report, let's create a button for every single record. Click the Add icon. Give a name to the button. Let's enable the button always. The invoice need to pop up on click of the button, so choose at once. Give a name to the workflow and click Create Workflow. Click Add New Action. Choose Always, since we want the invoice to pop up on every click. Choose Deluge Script. Let's create one. The Deluge Script Builder will open. Here, we need to write a code to pass the query parameter to the page. This is the code to achieve that. Here, the open URL task is used to open the URL of our page we created. Invoice pop-up is the link name of the page. RecID is the page variable that we created earlier to store all the ID of the records. Input.ID is used to fetch the ID of the specific record. Pop-up window, as the name suggests, specifies the window where the invoice needs to be displayed. Click Save. And done. Click Create Workflow. The button is ready. To add the button to the report, go to Configure Fields for Web and add the button. Let's access the Live app to see the output. 
As you can see on click of the button, the invoice appears in pop-up window. You can print the PDF by clicking the print button on top. In this way, you can easily preview custom layouts like invoices, ID cards, and application forms before sharing it on click of a button. That's it, that's all about this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.